In this tutorial we'll expand a bit on what we did in the basic sketch tutorial and to do that I'm going to open the project that we saved you recall it was flower demo and we open it and we'll see that we get the lines and the, um, the dots that were drawn in that uh, earlier tutorial um, to put it in uh, on overlying on the uh, primary image we can just uh, draw the primary image and then redraw the dots what we're going to introduce here is a new concept uh, called um, color between the lines and I'm going to move down the screen just a bit so you can see what I'm doing here but I'm going to go and I'm going to select a new dot group and I'm going to pick a broader pen in this case I'm going to pick a pen of, uh, of several pixel widths or pixel dot widths uh, and that will then be used for my uh, my new dot patterns that I'm going to draw I'll go back up here and uh, reposition on the uh, on the uh, main screen and what we'll do is we're going to stay much like you did when you were a kid and you had a coloring book and your mom always told you to stay between the lines well we're going to try to do that here it's not an exact science but basically if you just color along in between the lines that you drew in your sketch what's going to happen is the animation is going to produce a filling in or a coloring in of your sketch as if you had an artist pencil or artist chalk and we're filling in the um, the coloration of your sketch uh, as you move along here and every place you place a dot I'm drawing a line or Visit Sketch Pro is drawing a line that uh, builds basically a uh, a mask and anywhere that this mask is black that portion of the primary image will be mapped down on to the background image in this case the uh, the white the pink gradient that is uh, the background image that we loaded earlier so fundamentally I go along here and I just color this whole thing in like you're seeing here and to see what that'll do if we now draw the background we turn the filters on I know you can't see them they're below the below the uh, screen here but anyway I've turned the filters on with the smoothing and the line contrast and the color with the primary and now if we draw it you'll see that that petal is now masked down or, or mapped down underneath the mask onto the onto the uh, white to pink uh, gradient background now we continue doing that with all of the entire flower um, again and to proceed on I'm going to turn the filters off I'm going to draw the image the primary image and then I'm going to redraw all the lines you can see the areas that we did and what we still have to do I'm going to select a new group and I think now I'm going to go draw these these uh, seed pods in so I'll just kind of draw all the seed pods in much as if I had now selected a black pencil and I was going along and I'm going to draw all the same color portion of the image using my black pencil so I colored in those seed pods I'm going to select a new group and go down here and, and catch these right there and a new group for this one over here color it in and a new group for this one down here and now if I take a look when I'm finished here and I uh, draw my primary turn the filters on and draw these I can see that I've colored in those uh, black black seed pot areas again I'm going to turn the filters off draw the primary and draw the line so I can see where I've been I'm going to select a new dot group and I'm going to start working on another petal so I come down here with my uh, tool and continuing on here we'll fill in this area just as if I was coloring it in with an artist pencil and there you have that portion now I will I will pause here and proceed to color in the rest of this thing um, by hand while um, 
while the uh, video is not playing so you can get the drift of uh, what the final map will look like but I'm sure you can pretty much see what it's going to be. Anyway, we'll, we'll pause the video right here for a second and uh, on this tutorial and I'll, I'll color in the rest of the, uh, of the flower while, while you're, so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it. Okay, now I've gone ahead and colored in the entire mask over the whole flower and you can see what it looks like when it's drawn without the filters turned on. If we turn the filters on, draw the background, and then draw the flower, you can see that the flower does in fact map through onto the background everywhere that the mask covered it. So that pretty much would contain or complete what we'd have to do to, uh, to get that entire floral pattern uh, mapped down onto a nice pretty background. And uh, that segment of the, um, of the uh, slide that you would use for your uh, floral show opener would be complete. At this point, of course, would be another good time to go ahead and save your project since now you've got way more work involved. So uh, just to show you again what we have, if we draw the primary, we turn the filters off, and we draw the lines, you can see the black mass that covers your flower.